first thing was it was a crowd. Yeah. Great crowd. And as I said, I addressed the crowd before uh, we skated. I, I told them, I said, it surprised me, but it doesn't surprise me. It surprises me, again, just because of what we went through and I think what what you read, just, you know, some of the anger. And I, I think when you get in these situations, you really don't know what to expect. And it's like going into opening night, whether yeah. it's in Nashville or here, you just don't know what it's going to be like. But it doesn't surprise me because uh, having lived in the community and being around the community, I know what people are saying to me. I sp I've spent enough time in the rinks that and I, and I know the people here, having spent last season, just the loyalty and the support and, and the, the, the people here that really love hockey and love their teams. So it doesn't surprise me that way. What did you see on the ice today? Great energy. Um, as I told them, I think it's, it's, I think we all had it. You know, as a coach, it's that excited energy, enthusiasm, and you know, guys competed, competed hard. But I will guarantee you this: if you went to 29 other buildings, you know they're going to be doing the same thing. It's it's, it's that first day of hockey. Uh, you know, as coaches, when you're sitting in the back room, uh, it gets quiet about 20 minutes before practice. You're, you're trying to figure out why is the locker room quiet, and they're all out on the ice. And once you get into the grind of the season, it's you know guys are usually getting out on the ice about two minutes before practice. So it's 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 the excitedness about about being out on the ice together for the first time. This is going to be the grind of all grinds, but JD said this is what we want, right? We've been waiting four or five months. We want to play hockey. Everyone's doing the same thing. It's 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 going to be a grind. Everybody's going to have the same grind. Everybody's going to have to deal with issues, as JD says, curveballs. You know, whether it's an illness or an injury or whatever it is, everyone's going to have to deal with it. So it's it's a grind for everybody. It's a grind for the players. It's a grind for the coaches. Uh, but it's a good grind. It's a grind that we want. He said uh, he's not worried about the pass. He's going north. Do you like that mindset? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You, you have to look forward. As a coach, it's it's, it's no different. You know, you, you got to put some games behind you. You got to prepare for the next game. Uh, you know, last season was well, last season. I, we have to learn from it. You have to learn from your mistakes. It's no different than than growing as a person. You got to learn from your mistakes. It's what makes you better and makes me better as a coach. What we went through last year and. Hopefully it makes our players better than what they went through last year. How much are these six days just trying to find who can match with who, chemistry, finding your line combinations? <laughs> it, it, it's going to be hard. It, it truly is. You use exhibition, a traditional exhibition, uh, or training camp, sorry. You know, you have three weeks. You have maybe eight games, seven games, whatever it is, to really assess. And you can try different combinations. You can try guys at different positions. Um, and, and you can find which guys are ready and which guys aren't. Uh, we don't have that luxury this year, and we're going to have to base a lot of our decisions off of what goes on here in six days. And I think some players might benefit from that. Some players might not benefit from that. That's just the circumstances and what we're dealing with right now. Do your lines mean anything right now? Do they mean anything? Yeah. Well, we're trying. We're trying. Uh, you know, it's it's not that we just pulled names out of a hat today. I mean, we we put them down and. We want to see what they can do, and uh, you know today's the first step. Tomorrow might be different, but it's what we got to do as a staff: and sit down, talk about today's practice, you know who they like, who they didn't like, combination, and it's no different with deep pairings too. You've seen the schedule; you've talked of it publicly now. What, what are your thoughts? You've got a, a long stretch with lots of home games, and you've got a couple of real difficult lost time. You know, I, I bet you if I would ask everyone here, I think we all probably expected something like that, being in the West. You know, you know, being in Columbus here, that you're going to have to go out to California and Western Canada at least once. And the way it turns out, you got to go twice. And, you know, you got to go to Phoenix and you got to go to Colorado. And uh, you know, as I said, though, Western Conference, we're all doing it. You know, the, I, th I think the one thing that we're a bit unlucky is just we're further east than everybody else. But San Jose is going to have tough travel. Vancouver is going to have tough travel. I guarantee, if we went through and looked at everybody's schedule. Uh, Everyone's going to have these two-week road trips or 10-day road trips where they're all playing, you know, six games, and and it's all condensed. So the the depth of the organization is going to be real critical, I think, this season. And again, that's true for every team. You're going to be dealing with issues, travel issues, uh, injuries, and you're going to have to rely on guys and the depth of your organization, whether it's defense, goaltender, or, or forwards. There's 11 back-to-backs. Is that right? You know what? I didn't even go through and count the back-to-backs. I, for me, it was, again, six and ten or seven and twelve, whatever it was. Uh, 
yeah, to me it's all the same. I, I think we're going to be playing so much there's going to be times I'm going to be waking up. I, well, it happens when we play an 80-game schedule. I don't know what city I'm in and I don't know what day it is. Coach, you talked about you have perfect world and you'd love to be able to roll four lines on a pretty This year, more than any other, you're going to need everybody. And the depth of the organization, whether it's recalls, um, whether it's guys here, uh, you're, you're, you know, guys are going to be tired, the guys that play the big minutes, specialty teams. Uh, so you're really going to have to lean on on your role players and, and guys to, it, it's critically important. I, I'm, you know, one, one line I've always been impressed with is Boston's uh, kind of role line. And he uses them really in any situation. And, and, and to me, that's, that's a great thing to have, that you can put them out at any time and, and they have a chance to, to turn the tide of the game and the momentum of the game, but they're really trustworthy as well. And, and we need everyone this year. We need all 12 forwards. We need all six defensemen and, and both goaltenders.